Well, Houston millionaire apartment developer Harold Farb and his wife Carolyn were granted a divorce today. And as John Davenport reports, Mrs. Farb's settlement was no small change. When things were going well with the Farbs, their mansion here on River Oaks Boulevard often resounded with the best of music and sounds and conversation that cafe society and celebrities had to offer. And during any given evening, if you were quite lucky, you might even get to hear Harold sing. Those days are gone now, and the sometimes stormy five-year marriage was dissolved in Judge Bob Robertson's court. Carolyn Farb will receive about $20 million in cash and property. Only Harold Farb took the stand. Has the marriage between you and Carolyn Farb become uh, irreconcilable due to discord and conflicts of personality? Yes. Harold Farb's attorney, Tom Alexander, read aloud the terms, which both sides said were fair and which halted the possibility of a long trial. I think it was very fair. Mr. Farb is a very generous man. That's all I have to say. Much better to settle it than go through a, a trial. Absolutely. It doesn't, ha doesn't have the dignity that our marriage had. And this was the way we both wanted to end it. How are you going to pick up the pieces now? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go home right now. And the home she goes to is all hers now, all five and a half million dollars worth. John Davenport, Eyewitness News. A woman who wouldn't say yes, sir, to a Houston judge is in some hot water tonight, and we'll have that story in more news when Eyewitness News continues. Houston fire investigators tonight are sifting through the burned-out hulk of a warehouse near downtown Houston, hoping to find the cause of a three-alarm blaze that broke out there just a few hours ago. Fire officials say seven firefighters were injured battling that blaze, a high number of injuries for this type of fire, as Elma Barrera reports. The first alarm was pulled at 4.45. Less than 15 minutes later, it went to three alarms. The large one-story brick building covering half a block and used as a warehouse for two separate companies was totally involved in flames. Firefighters fought to keep the fire from spreading to nearby wood frame homes. At one point, the attention was split between the fire to one of their own being trapped. 22-year-old firefighter Dennis Fisher's leg got caught in an aerial ladder. As fellow firefighters tried to free him, his second leg got caught. Work in the hydraulic system only made Fisher cry out in pain. A blowtorch was hurried to the scene to cut away parts of the ladder. Then the trapped man's pants caught on fire. And there was another desperate rush, this time for a portable fire extinguisher. The two-month fire department veteran was finally released and rushed to Herman Hospital. Later at the hospital, Fisher said the day's troubles, both his legs were broken, have certainly not changed his mind about being a firefighter. I mean, I'm still going to fire fires and everything. I guess it's just unlucky <laughs> being a rookie, I guess. Six other firefighters were injured. Injuries ranged from a sprained back to minor burns and a head injury. Some were hospitalized, treated, and released. Others will remain in the hospital overnight. Fire officials said several minor explosions occurred as firemen were fighting the blaze, making this particular fire high risk. Fire officials say the damage is so extensive, it's going to take a few days to determine exactly what caused the fire. This is Elma Barrera, Eyewitness News. George Lucas's third Star Wars adventure, Return of the Jedi, premiered in theaters across Houston today. The lines are long. They are expected to stay that way for the next several weeks. But the movie apparently is worth the wait. Debbie Johnson reports. Vader's on that ship. Now, don't get jittery, Luke. There are a lot of command ships. <laughs> Keep your distance, though, Chewie. After a three-year wait, the fate of Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and the rest of the Star Wars cast is finally ready for public consumption. And after waiting three years, some folks decided they just couldn't wait any longer to find out what happens. At the Meyerland Plaza, people started lining up about 4 o'clock this morning to be the first on their block to see Act 3 of George Lucas' world-renowned trilogy. And moviegoers weren't the only ones who spent a sleepless night waiting for the movie's premiere in Houston. We stayed up here till about 5 in the morning working and preparing the whole theater. I should say at least four to five weeks before it, it slows down a little bit. The date of the release coincides exactly with the release of the original Star Wars six years ago. And if Star Wars was a prodigy and the Empire Strike Backs a phenomenon, Return of the Jedi might be considered, well, perhaps the viewers described it best. Oh, wow. It is the ultimate. Um, 
There's, you have to see it. I am so taken back. I want to thank George Lucas. It was great. Who would you like best in the movie? Luke Skywalker. Did anything surprise you in it? What? Yoda was, um, uh... Well, we better save that one for the folks that haven't seen it yet. They the kids may like Luke Skywalker, but I still think Han Solo steals the show. Debbie Johnson, Eyewitness News.